The twelve apostles speak their minds to themselves, to each other, and to the Lord, in light of the words which they have just heard Jesus speak. One of you will betray me. Jesus chose men as his disciples, who were just like you and me. We hope you'll enjoy this presentation and experience a true feeling of his presence in this place today. Thank you. Now, the first day of unleavened bread, when they killed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare that you may eat the Passover? So he sent out two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him. And wherever he goes in, say to the master of the house, The teacher says, Where is the guest room in which I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room, furnished and prepared. There, they ready for us. And his disciples went out and came into the city, and found it just as he had said to them. And they prepared the Passover. In the evening he came with the twelve. Now as they sat and ate, Jesus said, Assuredly I say to you, one of you who is with me will betray me. And they began to be sorrowful, and to say to him one by one, Is it I? He shocks us by telling us that there is a betrayer in our midst. We do not know that in betraying Jesus, he is betraying God. That in conspiring against Jesus, he is conspiring against God. He tells us one of us is betraying him. After that meeting, the betrayer is to be numbered among his closest friends. And now, he who taught us the way of love is to be betrayed by one of those of whom he loved. Who can it be? And why should one of us do such a thing? For the first time in my life, I am free. <laughs> Nor am I free of Rome any longer. Oh, she's mighty, but God is all.
human people that before the cock crowed twice, I will have denied him three times. <coughs> All the others call me the big fisherman. But in his presence, I feel small and unworthy. Oh, no. 